Thank you. So this next song is about a caterpillar in my backyard. His name is Marvin. And um, Marvin, well, he had a bad week. He turned into a butterfly. He was really pissed off. Because, you know, wouldn't that be weird, right? You go to sleep, you're uh, and like one thing. You wake up, and you're something else completely different. And none of the rules apply. So while I was commiserating with Marvin, I did a little research about the whole caterpillar to butterfly thing. And it's actually pretty amazing. So here's two. Well, first of all, I must tell you that Marvin is a grand spangled fritillary which is a common butterfly into the northern New Jersey area. And I did not make that name up. He is actually a grand spangled fritillary. If you're ever bored, go look at the butterfly handbook, man. People who love butterflies are obviously poets. They have amazing names. So anyway, Marvin. Oh, yeah. So, okay, you're a caterpillar, right? You go, into your cu you go into your chrysalis, you melt down to the molecular level. No part carries through. So at one point, you have all the structure, pulmonary, circulatory, all that stuff, you melt down to goop and you reform into a, into a butterfly. So my question is, how do you stay alive when you're just goop, right? Isn't that an interesting question? You've got no parts that are functioning. And I don't know about you, but personally, I've had some of those goop phases. <laughs> and then this really intrigued me. Well, nature's just completely amazing. I don't, I don't know about you, but I'm completely a fan of the planet. It's my favorite planet, actually. <laughs> um, but so, so some butterflies, the way they turn into, the, some way, the way some caterpillars turn into butterflies is that their chrysalis is actually their innermost layer of skin. So the way they create the transformation process, the way they kickstart that process, is they shed, and they shed, and they shed, and they shed. And when that inner layer is exposed to the air, it hardens and becomes a chrysalis. So metaphysically speaking, I think it's really interesting, the idea that we carry our chrysalis within us, and the way we activate transformation is to shed. So this is the Ballad of Marvin, the reluctant Grand Spangled Fiddlery. So there I was. I was just minding my own business. Not that I really have a lot of business to mind. It was Tuesday and I was out there in the garden just eating leaves and enjoying the sunshine. And then all of a sudden, and not really for any particular reason, but I just started feeling so ill at ease. Now the season for molting, that was weeks ago. Oh no, what if I have a really bad caterpillar disease? So I decide, I'm gonna go find Edith. Now Edith is bossy, but she always knows what's going on. And I looked high, I looked low, I looked everywhere I could think of, but Edith, it seems, was gone. Now I'm sick, and I'm worried, and frankly, slightly nauseous. So I look for a spot I could go lie down. I stick my four back feet right there on that shady branch. I let my head hang down towards the ground. And maybe I was just dreaming. It could be my imagination. But a voice just kept on repeating. These are the blues of transformation. It got worse. Because I started shedding. No, I mean really. Like on and on and on. Every single bit of skin I'd ever known and been slightly fond of every single stitch of it was gone. And it turns out that my inner child is actually shiny bright green. I am mortified. I haven't had this bad a day since I was a larva. I know you know just what I mean. And then my skin, it starts to harden and tighten and I'm just feeling so trapped. If anybody ever tells you that they enjoyed the cocoon, I suggest you do not believe that. Because that, my friends, is right about the time the whole thing starts to get weird. And I start to fall apart. Now I know, we've all had our own little breakdowns. But listen, I got no brains, I got no lungs, and I got no heart. Baby, I was just dreaming. It could be my 
imagination would have always just kept on repeating these are the blues of transformation I woke up I was trapped I was in the dark and I was all alone and I told myself self as soon as I get myself out of here I am going straight directly back home so I, I look for a way out but there isn't one I have no idea what I should do it looks like the only way that I'm gonna get myself out of here is put my head down and go straight through so I push and I pull and I bite and I scream and I curse and I cry and I complain and I moan and I push and I bite and I cry and I complain and I curse and I moan and I push and I push and I push and I push and I'm out. Hmm. I'm still right here in the garden, but something, something is strange. Oh no, there's something sticking up out of my back. Good God. Wings? And I stretch my legs. Hey, what happened to my legs? I had 16 of them and now one, two, three, four, five, six, ten of them are gone. One thing I could tell right away is I better figure out some new way of holding on. Right then a voice says, Marvin, is that you, Marvin? What a beautiful proboscis you've got. And your wings, wow, they're magnificent. Who would have thought? But Marvin, I've got to say it, you are hot. Edith, is that you, Edith? Well, goodness gracious, Edith, what happened to you? And Sue says, I am a butterfly now, Marvin, and you are too. No, you have not been dreaming. It's not your imagination. It's been me all along repeating. These are the blues, blues. These are the blues of transformation. Thank you so much.